Hello, good evening. Good evening, guys. Good, good evening. evening. How are you? How do you feel today? How are you? Good, so so. Uh -huh. What about your day? How was it? Good, Miss. It was good. Okay, you know, um, I mean, today is uh Wednesday, right? So tomorrow is going to be our last class. And basically, the module is done, right? We finish it so fast. Mm -hmm. Really fast. Okay, so let's see. Uh, good evening. In this case, let me see. Maria Vilma, how are you? Mm, relaxed, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, so you are relaxed. Perfect. Okay, so good evening, Carlos Israel. Uh, we have Astrid. Okay, all right. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, so we're going to start with today's class. It's almost seven, one minute. So we are going to wait for, for the other ones to join. Uh, Carlos Israel, how are you? How do you feel? Uh, nice. Uh, um, tired, exhausted. I'm so tired. Uh, okay. Work. Okay, yes, I understand. Okay, Carlos. But today is Wednesday, okay? So that is the good thing. Do you work on weekends? Do you work Saturday and Sunday? No, no, no. no okay. Me. Yes. Okay. Jonathan, yes. Okay. Well, guys, really, really like difficult sometimes, right? But you know, I mean, that is part of life, right? So we need to adapt. So today's agenda. We are going to start with the warm up, then we are going to move to the grammar topic. And today we are going to study this, these, that, and those. Okay, we also have a speaking and we have wrap up. Okay, so we are going to start with the warm up and we are going to play a stop the bus, but today with nationality, country, and verb. Let's see if we remember about countries and nationalities, okay? So let's see. So the first letter that we are going to play with, we are going to play with three letters, okay? The first one is going to be letter T, nationality, nationality country, and verb with the letter T. Mm -hmm. Nationality, country, and verb. With the letter T. Stop the bus. Okay, let's see. Cindy, go. Uh, country, Thailand. Thailand. Perfect. Thailand. Mm -hmm. um, nationality, Thai. Very good. Excellent. And very uh -huh. Take. Take. Perfect. Well done, Cindy. Yes. Okay, next. With the letter B. B. Of the bus. Okay, let's see, Carlos. Uh -huh. uh, Bulgarian. Okay. 
country vamos and verb okay. bye. Bye. Excellent. Very good. Okay, I can see that you are good at nationalities and countries. Okay, the last one. Yeah, one more. With the letter M. That one is easy. M. Stop the bus. Okay, let's see. Go, uh, Carlos Francisco, I think. Yes. Nationality, Mexican. Mm -hmm. Country, Morocco. Okay, that is correct. Mm -hmm. Make. Make, okay. Perfect, so we have a tie, okay? So just because of the time, we are going to stop the, the game right here. But all of you, okay, our winners, Carlos Francisco Escoto, Carlos Israel Estrada, and Cindy, okay? Very good, guys. So before continuing, what we are going to review is this. Let me share with you the following, okay? Let me see if it's, yes. Okay, so we are, I'm sorry, let me see, where is it? Yes. Okay, we are going to study uh, this part, all right? This is for us to learn a little bit about countries and nationalities, okay? So you can um, have more vocabulary, okay? We have the country and we also have the nationality, okay? So- Australia. Australia. Australian. Australian. Yes, let's see this one. Japan. Japan. Japanese. Japanese. Okay. Brazil. Brazil. Brazilian. Brazilian. Mexico. Mexico. Mexican. Mexican. China. China. Chinese. Chinese. Morocco. Morocco. Moroccan. Moroccan. Mm -hmm. Egypt. Egypt. Okay, Egypto, Egypt. Egyptian. Egyptian. Portugal. Portugal. Portuguese. Portuguese. Okay. Germany. Germany. German. German. Russia. Russia, Russian, Russian, Italy, Italy, Italian, Italian, Spain, Spain, Spanish, Spanish, France, France, okay, French, French, USA, USA, American, American. Okay, guys, what is the nationality of Germany? Nationality. Oh. German. 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 What is the nationality of Russia? Russia. 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 What about from Spain? Spanish. 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 What about from Morocco? Moroccan. Moroccan. Portugal? Portuguese. Portuguese. China? Chinese. Egypt? Egyptian. 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 Brazil? Brazilian. Brazilian. Australia? Australian. Australian. France? French. French. Very good. Okay. Excellent. I sent the link so you can go ahead and maybe repeat once again, once you have the time. Okay. After the class, you can study that, uh, you know, worksheet. Okay. So let's start with our class guys. And today we are going to learn about emotions. Okay. So emotions. Yeah. As you can see right here, we have the first one, which is Confuse, confuse, yeah? And what is the meaning of confuse? 
confundido. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. So we have again angry. angry. Yes. Angry. Uh -huh. We also have calm. Calm. Calmado. Calmado. Mm -hmm. For example, I am confused. I am angry. I am calm. I am happy with the verb to be, okay? I am happy. I am disgusted. What is the meaning of disgusted? Disgusto. Cuando se está como, así como malhumorado. Sí, cuando alguien le ha hecho algo, you say, I am disgusted. Okay, estoy a disgusto. No se siente bien, okay? You are not angry. No está enojado, pero se siente como eso que no está bien completamente ok we also have nervous nervous yeah which is nervios happy again and we have mire lonely lonely means mm, que se está como solitario solo that is something bad well depende that depends but lonely Yes. Sleepy. I am sleepy. Es que tengo sueño. Sueño. Mm -hmm. I am sleepy. Yes, in the morning, right? So whenever we wake up, so we are sleepy. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is true. I agree. Okay, I agree. Okay, guys. The grammar topic for today is going to be this. Listen to the pronunciation. This. That. Those and these. Look at this. This, these, this, these. Okay? Pronunciation, pronunciation. Yeah? Okay, who has an idea about this topic? Who knows about this topic? Yes. Um, Para señalar objects. Okay. okay. To point objects, how do you say señalar? Point, yeah, point, son, yeah. Son como adjetivos de, de, de lugar. Yes, eh, correct. Vienes no como adjetivos, ok? Pero no de lugar, ok? Sino que uh, de objetos, yes? Eh, ya vamos a ver cómo eh, lo interpretamos, ok? So in this case, we are going to start with the name of this topic. The name of this topic is demonstrative pronouns. That is the name of the topic. Demonstrative pronouns. Yeah, that is the name. So as you can see right here, we have this. And the hand is touching the apple. Look at the image. Yes. So the hand is touching. Look at this, that, pointing, apuntando, señalando, pointing. It's not touching, it's pointing. Yes? So this is singular and that is singular, which is the difference, teacher. The difference is that this is cuando usted está tocando el objeto. Y dice este, esta. Y cuando utilizamos that, de lejos, está señalándolo, entonces significa eso, esa, en singular. Uh -huh. For example, si usted está enfrente de su televisor en este momento, you are in the living room and you have your TV in front of you. Yes, you can say that television. Yes, that television, porque se está señalándolo. No le está tocando. Ahora, for example, um, the ones that are writing on the notebook tienen lapiceros, right? Usted puede decir, lapicero es singular, puede decir this pen. Mire, lo tengo. This, this pen. Yeah, singular. Yeah, so este lapicero, this pen. Yeah, 
Y si lo tengo lejos, lo señalo y digo that pen. Yeah. So in this case, um, we have the example. I like this apple. Me gusta esta manzana. I like that apple. Me gusta esa manzana. Okay. Whenever we go to buy a uh, probably uh, clothes, right? So you say, I like that shirt. Me gusta esa, eso. Cuando anda paseando ahí en los pasillos. ¿Verdad? En los centros comerciales. Me gusta, me gusta esa camisa. Usted la señala. Desde la vitrina, right? De afuera. Dice, Qué bonito está esa camisa. Dice. Uh -huh. Cuando ya la tiene, I like this. Yeah. Then we also have these and those. And both of them, the two of them are plural. Plural. For example, I like these apples. Yes. I like these apples. Look at this. One, two, three. Plural. Those, plural, I like those apples. For example, me gustan estas manzanas. Me gustan estas apples. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, let's Take a look at more examples, yeah? Look at this. This bird, I'm touching the bird. Yes, lo está tocando y es uno, singular. This, plural, y está diciendo estos, los está tocando. Yes, and then we have that bird, ese. Pájaro, señalándolo. No lo estoy tocando, singular. Those birds, esos pájaros, señalándolos. No lo estoy tocando. Uh -huh. I need two volunteers. One to read this and one to read this. Um, Carlos Israel, please read this. Yeah. And who wants to read this? Mercedes. Okay, Mercedes, you read this. Okay, Carlos Israel. Okay, uh, we use this, this singular, yes. and this plural Perfect. to talk about people or things near us. Mm -hmm. This is a yellow pencil. Uh, whose pens are these to introduce people? This, this is Sheila. These are my friends, John and Peter. Attention, we don't say these are John and Peter. We say this is John and this, this is Peter. Mm -hmm. Look at that, okay? When you are introducing people, you say this is John and this is Peter. Tiene que presentar a los dos, okay? Yes, Mercedes? We use that singular and those plural to talk about things that are far from use. What that? This is our car and that Anthony's car over there. Those are very expensive shoes. We also use that to, re to refer back to something someone said or did. Uh, shall we go to the cinema? Yes, that's a good idea. Idea, okay. Mercedes, repeat after me and say us. 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 Okay, guys, listen to this. This and this near. And what is near? Cerca. Que tiene algo cerca. Near. That and those far. 
And what is far? Lejos. Yes. Do you have questions? Do you have doubts? Preguntas, dudas, hasta aquí. Uh -huh. No, teacher. No, right now? Okay. Bye. Sigamos, okay? Entonces, nuevamente, vamos a repasar, okay? So, singular in English, okay? Tenemos singular y plural al igual que en español. Lo mismo, ok. Podemos decir este, estos, esta, yes. Cuando usted tiene algo cerca. Cuando usted tiene algo lejos decimos esa, esos. ¿Mm? O esas, yes. En plural. Entonces es lo mismo en inglés. Near means cerca. Far means lejos. Singular near this. Este o esta. Singular far that. Ese o esa. Plural, near, these. Estos, estas. Plural, far, those. Esos, esas. And look at the examples. This, pencil, near. That, pencil, far. These, Books, near, those, books, far. Uh -huh. So if, uh, if you want to say, for example, okay, esta, no, este cuaderno, y usted lo tiene ahí, y lo levanta y dice, this notebook, or this book, si tiene su libro. Yes. This notebook or this book. Porque lo tiene cerca. Uh -huh. Y es singular. Singular. Now, what about if we say that? Uh -huh. Singular. Lejos, ok. That notebook. That book. That TV. That sofa, that window, that cat, that dog. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. We have some examples, okay? Look at this, all right? Hello, this is another way how to use this and that, okay? How to use those demonstrative pronouns. So we have, hello, I'm Lisa Simpson. This is my cat. Look at this, mire lo tiene. This is my cat. Yes, lo tiene en sus manos ella, lo está tocando. Este es mi gato, this is my cat. Its name is a Snowball. Look at number two. That, lejos, singular, el perrito. That is my dog. Its name is Santa's little helper. Uh -huh. Look at number three. This is my brother and she is hugging. This is my brother, Bart. Uh -huh. But she is near Bart. Lo tiene cerca. That is my sex. Lejos, mire. That is my sex. Now, this is my little sister, Maggie. Near. Maggie is near. Uh -huh. Look at that. Uh -huh. Now, plural. These are my books, plural, and she's carrying the books. 
right? Los tiene. These are my books. Plural. And what about this one, number seven? These, okay, near, near. These are my parents. Homer and Mark. Those, look at that, those are my neighbors. Those, the Flanders. And those are my friends, Jerry and Terry, far. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Bye. Any questions, something that is not clear? Not right now? Okay, so I need you to create four sentences. Look at um, where you are, okay? Look around, yes? And I want you to pay attention to the things that you have near and to the things that you have far. And in that way, create the four sentences. Yes? I'll give you five minutes. Once you finish, send them to the WhatsApp group. Okay? I want to see your writing. escritura. One with this, one with that, one with these, and one with those. Okay, let me see. Okay, sí, el, el que no pueda realizar el ejercicio está bien, no se preocupe, okay? Pero los que sí podemos, hagamos. Okay, very good, Mercedes. Excellent. Yes, very good. Okay. Let me see. Mm, yes. I'll give you an apple. Yes. I really like this film. That's a really good idea. Who is that? Who is that? She wants those shoes. Very good. Let me see. Okay. Mm His plate of food is very close. Let me see, okay. This is my favorite ice cream. These dogs look friendly. That movie is awesome. Those birds fly very high. Excellent, His, uh, This plate, I think, Carlos is right. This plate of food is very close. That bird is blue. This octopus look tasty and those hammocks look comfortable. Okay. Okay. Okay, Jenny. Yes, it's okay. All right. Guys, any question about that? If not, let's continue with the second exercise, okay? So it says, change the following sentences from singular to plural. It depends, okay? For example, look at this. 
This book is good. So now these books are good. Number two, that girl has dolls. Which one will be the plural? Those. 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 Correct. Girls has dolls. Those girls. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see. Those girls are have, have no. okay, those, yes. Okay, have because this one is plural, okay? All right, continue with C D E F, please, and send them to the chat. C, D, E, F. Change those to plural and send them to the chat here in Zoom. You see? This is my cell phone. That is my blouse. These are my pens. Those are my knocks. Yes. Very good. This is my computer. That is my cat, Chester. This, ah, number three, Edwin, these are, because it's plural, number three. Okay. These are my houses. Y pluralizamos casas, houses. Letter la S, S. Okay, teacher. And the last one, Edwin, those are, le remueve la S, are. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay. This is my mother. That is my favorite color. I like these tables. Those are my beds. Excellent. Very good. Okay, let's see. Oh. Let's see, Cindy. These offices are near the bank. Okay, perfect. Those are my notebooks. Very good. These boys are 14 years old. Perfect. Those dogs are black. Excellent. No mistake, okay? Very good. Hmm. Let me see. This is my pain. Liliana, number one, this is my pen. Como, como pants. Pantalones, como, ajá, de cómo se escribe. Ajá, pero pantalones, como es pantalones, plural. Ajá, es por decir pantalón. 
Mm, pero fíjese de que pantalones en inglés siempre va a ser plural. Ah, ok. Entonces, vamos, podemos decir, eh, these are my pants. Pero le tienen que cambiar el these por el T-H-E-S-E. -E. Uh, mm. el, el are. These are my pants. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. Se lo voy a escribir para que lo pueda ver. This. Are, these are my pants. This house is very big. That car is very fast. These dogs look friendly. Those are my shoes. Yes, Katia. These offices are near the bank. Those are my notebooks. Oh, Carlos Francisco. Those are my notebooks. These These boys are 14 years old. These boys, notebooks, boys. These dogs, the letter S, okay. Uh, this, oh, Mercedes, these offices. Those are my books. These boys, mm. uh, those do dogs. And um, George, these offices are near the bank. Yes, those are my notebooks. S. These boys are 14 years old. These dogs are black. Yes, guys, remember to add the letter S to the noun. Tiene que hacerlo también eh, plural. Plural. Let me see. Cindy, you did it perfect, okay? Let me show what uh, Cindy, uh, let me see. These offices are near the bank, okay? Are near the bank, okay? Then those, those are my novels, okay? Very good. Look at this one. These boys are 14 years old. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And she also added those. Those, look at that. Dogs are black. And if you notice, um, Cindy did add uh, the letter S. Mm -hmm. Because it is plural. We need to do it. Uh -huh. Questions, doubts, dudas, preguntas. No. Uh -huh. No. Don't forget, okay? Pero que no se me lo olvide. Those offices, those are my novels. These boys are 14. Yes, like that. Ok, que no se me lo olvide, guys, que cuando usted vaya a pluralizar algo en inglés, siempre tiene que también poner la S a los nombres. Porque si no, no, plura, no pluralizamos de la manera correcta. Ok, que no se le olvide. Ok, bye. Entonces, if you don't have any question, let's move. Ok, and now, what we are going to read is the following, ok. Vale, vamos a, a empezar un repaso de los verbos en tercera persona. Ok. It says, read the information about Leah. Then complete the sentences in the chart below with the correct form of the verb in parentheses and the correct preposition of time. We are going to study verbs and prepositions. Let's see if you remember. Ok. Um, Cindy, help us reading this. Okay. Nia. Yes. Nia. Yes. yes. Is from Indonesia. Yes. She works in Toronto, Canada. Mm -hmm. This, this is her first time away from home. 
and she misses her life in Indonesia. Her life is very different in Canada. In Canada. Okay. In Canada. Um, yes, thank you. Um, in this case, the pronunciation of this one, you can say Toronto, Toronto, Canada. Toronto, okay. Yes. Um, okay, Leah's, okay, in this case, Leah's mother cooks, right? Because it's third person. So now Leah, which is the verb? Has. Have or has? Has. Has. Has, has. has. classes, uh -huh. okay, preposition. Leah has classes at from from okay from from, from 9:30 to to 12:30 from Monday to Saturday Leah goes pronunciation goes 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 okay very good so let's add it right here uh -huh. next goes out with her friends uh -huh. on um, weekend on weekends very good okay on weekends okay on perfect all right so let me see now let's move to this one leah's mother Negative. Doesn't cook. Doesn't. Very good. Doesn't cook. Huh. Next. Doesn't cook. Breakfast for her. Number five. Has. Uh -huh. Leah has breakfast at a coffee shop. Preposition. In, in, no, at about, okay, at about, okay, at about, uh -huh. in the morning, in the morning, okay, very good, in the morning, uh -huh. Leah, number six, has not, doesn't have, doesn't have, doesn't have, uh -huh. classes, classes in, the in, the in the morning. Very good, okay. Number seven, she works, works, uh -huh. prepositions. At, at. From 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 nine to five to five. To five. Mm -hmm. A space on Monday from Monday on Friday. To Friday. to Friday. Yes. Uh -huh. Very good. From Monday to Friday. Okay. So, number eight. She also studies. 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 Very good. Studies. Studies at a business school because she wants to. Wants to. Want to start a business, start business. Uh, in, in Indonesia, Indonesia someday. She have. Mm, she has. She has. Perfect. She has. 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 Has.
From two. Six. Two. Excellent. From, from six to nine. Uh -huh. Oh. Uh -huh. The preposition? At night. At. Two night. At night. In the night. Night. From Tuesday and Tuesday. Um, on Tuesday and Thursday. Very good, okay? Excellent. So I'm happy because you remember about prepositions, okay? Very good. Excellent, okay? You remember, okay? Very good, okay? Now let's move, okay? Look at the work schedule, then complete the sentences below and let's use the correct prepositions of time and the verb in parentheses, prepositions, okay? So look at the, the schedule, okay? So what is the meaning of a schedule? A schedule, work schedule, horario de trabajo. Work schedule, yeah? We have Petra. Ali, Nadia, Ken, and Kathy. Yes. So in this case, what we are going to do is the following, okay? Let's see, let's work on Petra right now. So it says, Petra works from 9 a.m. to 2, very good. Where is it? Here, here it is, 2, number 2. Petra works. works. Petra works, okay. On Tuesday or Thursday. Or Thursday. Very good. Excellent. Now let's look at Ali. Ali works. 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 At. 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 At what time? 12 p.m. At 12 mm -hmm. p.m. Very good. Number four. Ali has. Ali has. A break. At. 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 Excellent. Number five. Nadia. Works. Works. In the afternoon. In the Excellent. Number six. Works. Works. At night. At night. Okay. Mm -hmm. Guys, Nadia and Ken. Works. Work. 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 Because it is plural. Plural, mm -hmm. two people, two, okay. Uh -huh. At night. At night. At night, very good. Number seven. Kim has, has, has a break, break at, at, at 2 a.m. Yes. Mm -hmm. Guys, ¿por qué es has y no have? Porque es singular. ¿Por qué es singular? Porque es la persona. Ok. Vale. ¿Quién me puede explicar cuándo utilizamos have y cuándo utilizamos has? Has, I use a third person. Third person. And, yeah. Uh -huh. And have use, um, I use. I, you, they, we. Excellent. Okay. Guys, which are the third person in English? He, 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 and he, he, and he. Excellent. Let's look at Kathy. Kathy works, works, works. works. Mm. from. from from 
to six p.m. Okay. Number nine. Kathy work works on Saturday. On Saturday. On Sunday. And Sunday. Excellent. On right because we use on. Para qué utilizamos on? Dijimos. Para los días específicos. Excelente. Días específicos y días de semana. Specific days and days of the week. Muy bien. Excelente. Number 10. Kathy and Petra. Have. Have. Have their breaks. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Excellent. Okay, very good. Okay. Very good. Do you have any questions? Any preguntas? Any dudas? No? Pero lo felicito porque fíjese de que ha aprendido mucho lo de las preposiciones, ok? Eso es muy bueno. All right. So now, teamwork. Vaya, lo vamos a ir a diferentes salones y ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a encontrar los seis errores de preposiciones y de negativas en este pequeño párrafo. Hay seis errores. ¿Ok? Tómele captura. Y con su equipo va a encontrar los seis errores. Ya tenemos uno ahí. Tiene que encontrar cinco. ¿Ok? Bien. Y lo corrige. Yes, quiero que haga uno del equipo, hace de nuevo la, la reading, la hace nuevamente la lectura, es pequeña, y la manda al grupo. Uno del equipo. ¿Ok? Vamos a tener alrededor de unos 10 minutos aproximadamente para que trabajen esto. ¿Ok? Vale. Vámonos entonces a los breaker rooms. Creo que no está dicha. La voy a cambiar, ¿ok? Ok. Déjenme, lo voy a mandar rápido a otro salón para que pueda trabajar con ellos. Uno del equipo lo mandaría entonces. Sí, sí, hay que enviarlo. <risa> Yo lo que pasa es que soy desde el teléfono y vieron que me costó regresar. Nunca me nunca entro tan tarde, pero es que. Pero ya vine, vaya que estoy. Pero donde <ríe> del teléfono estoy, no estoy desde la compu. Si me ayuda. Me escribo yo. Okay. Ah, por, por favor, favor, porque yo igual del teléfono. Bye. Gracias. Ok. okay. It is a this is, this is a reporter. Dice Iris is a reporter. Iris. He works for a newspaper. She asks questions and writes articles. That doesn't, she doesn't try to work. She was otra y de nuevo she doesn't. No sé si lo vamos escribiendo aquí o, o alguien lo va escribiendo por chat. Um, yo lo puedo ir escribiendo, pero tendría que enviar una foto. Ah, ok. Entonces, igual yo estoy escribiéndolo aquí en, en el cuaderno. Sería she works. Mm. 
Why? No sé si ya van escribiendo, así comenzamos a leer todos y vamos sacando los errores. Eh, sí, sí, está bien. Vaya, en la segunda línea es, she doesn't drive to work. To work. Y ahí dice, she walks. De ahí de nuevo, she doesn't work in the morning. She doesn't work. Work in the morning. Okay. In the morning. She does. The yes. She works from. She is from Berda. She works from 2 p.m. She she doesn't. The morning. 2 p.m. Y, y en esa siempre sería she work. She, no sí, es she works. Ella trabaja de dos de la tarde, se podría decir. Eh, después ya no puedo ver la imagen, no sé qué pasa ahí. She works from 2 p.m. Ajá, 2 p.m. Y dice in... Pero creo que ahí es tú. ¿Verdad que sí? ¿Perdón? Ahí es tú, ¿verdad? Okay, so let me see if you all know. We are still missing, okay? So let's wait for the other ones to join, okay? Vamos a esperar que nos se vengan todos aquí a la sesión principal. Déjeme ver. Okay, guys, I'm going to take the attendance. Le voy a tomar asistencia, okay? I'm going to take the attendance. So please say present. Alexandra Giselle. Present. Thank you. Astrid Gabriela. Carlos Francisco Escoto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Isra Carlos Israel Estrada. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Vidal Gómez. Cindy Stephanie Ramirez. Present Cindy. teacher. Thank you. Damaris Milagro Hernández. Present. Thank you. Daniela Lisbeth Martínez. Present. Thank you. Eh, Diana Beatriz Reyes. Diana. Ediselda Elizabeth. Ediselda. Edwin Giovanni. Present. Thank you. Fabiola Jamilez. Ingrid Astrid Asunción. Present teacher. Thank you. Jonathan David Sea. Present. 
Thank you. George Mauricio Gutierrez. Present. Thank you. Jose Alejandro Flores. Present. Thank you. Cassia Mayerli Granados. Present. Thank you. Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Manuel Alexander Áviles. Present. Thank you. María Vilma Cortés Rivas. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Guevara. Present. Thank you. Mercedes Isabel. Present. Thank you. Mirna Jamilet. Tatiana Abigail. Present. And Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortés. Present. Okay, Fabiola. Astrid. Okay. Guys, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. I'll see you back tomorrow. And please try to resolve this reading, okay? The mistakes. If you didn't finish, trate de hacerlo. Y mañana eso vamos a estudiar lo, lo primero, okay? So okay. right now, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. I'll see you back tomorrow. Good night. Descansen, okay? Good night. 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 Take care. Good night. Thank <laughs> you.